Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we have six amazing apps for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. These apps are 100% free, made by Samsung, for Samsung users. And of course the applications I'm talking about are these ones right over here. We have six of these guys, such as the Galaxy App Booster. I'm going to show you exactly what these apps do in a minute, okay? But first, to download these applications, you want to click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you want to scroll down just a little bit. All right. Under download, you want to click the link. Once you click the link, it's going to take you to the store from where you can install. Or if you already have them, you can update these. So let me click on open. I'm going to tell you one thing real quick. Uh, Good Guardians has been renamed. Okay. It used to be known as Galaxy Labs. Now it is Good Guardians. And on top of that, we have some brand new features in some of these modules. So let's start by the uh, battery guardian that has the most new features, okay? So when you click this for the first time, it might take you back to the store to install this module, that's fine. So once you have it installed, it's gonna say install at the bottom and when you click it, it's gonna launch that application. So we have some existing features here, but we also have a brand new feature over here. Okay, we have this one, this one, and this one. So this one here is the screen power saving. So it optimizes the battery usage of the display. So when you turn this on, basically what happens is, if, you're, if you walk away from your phone and you left it turned on just like this one, let's say if you go to your settings, all right, and if you go into display, uh, your let's say your screen timeout is set to two minutes like mine and then you walk away from your phone what happens is for two minutes the phone just stays active and it eats the battery with maximum brightness that you left it at with this one when the screen is not used it enters dim mode so it's going to dim the display if this is turned off you're going to get the it's going to just keep the regular brightness if this is turned on within 15 to 20 seconds before your uh, screen times out, this is going to dim the display and that's gonna save you battery. So that's one of the new features. Then we have the power saving during bedtime. So again, extend battery life by automatically optimizing and limiting performance during sleep. You turn this on, pick a, set, pick a schedule. That's what time you go to bed and what time you wake up so it can extend the battery at that time, all right? And then we have this one right here, the extend battery life feature, uh, basically gives you suggestions on what to do to further extend your battery, if that's something you're looking into. Now, if you are somebody that has a lot of chargers all the time, your phone is charged, this is not a big deal. But if you're that person that is out there, maybe you don't have a big battery on your phone, maybe you don't have the latest flagship, you can use these options. You can extend the battery to, by turning on the dark mode or any of these guys right over here, okay? And then tap on optimize at the bottom and that's gonna help you out automatically. So, and then we have some existing features, but that's Battery Guardian. Uh, let's look at the other one that's pretty cool. That's the File Guardian. Now this is great because basically if you go and delete files from your phone here and there, the File Guardian is gonna catch and store those files here for a set amount of time. So if you want to, you can restore them. So if I were to go to my gallery, here's a bunch of photos. Let me delete this photo right here. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this. Now what happens is when I go back into my file guardian, it is going to catch the photo and it's gonna hold it here uh, for a while. Uh, in fact, if I go to my settings, you can tell it to auto delete after two weeks uh, or whatever. Okay, so you can change that based on your needs. Uh, so if you wanna restore something, you delete it by accident in anywhere on your phone documents, gallery, videos, they're gonna show up right here, all right? So that's the file guardian. Then we have the battery tracker. Nothing fancy, but if you go inside, you can track your battery, how it is being used in the last 24 hours or the last seven days. Nice graphical representation, as you can see. Uh, some cool stuff for people that like to go in and uh, see exactly what's happening. You can also select the time period. Look at that. 
you can really dig into it and, and see what's happening with your phone as, war, as far as your battery is concerned. Now this one is one of my favorites. Basically it, it boosts up the performance of your phone, the Galaxy App Booster. Now this is something that happens in the background. Uh, it is not a simple thing. So when you do optimize it, it can take up to 15 times and it tells you uh, by what percentage it is going to improve your performance by. In this case, it is 15%, okay? And you can also choose this option at the bottom, only optimize apps used in the last 30 days. That might actually save you some time, but if, when you tap on this, you start the process, you know, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, so I'm gonna stop it for now, uh, but it's gonna give you a boost on the performance of your phone. Again, if you have a flagship, probably not a big deal, but any other phone, an older phone, mid-range phone, these are some great applications. And then we have this one right here, the Memory Guardian. You click this guy, and basically this allows you to clean up the RAM, and that's gonna boost the performance of your device. Again, if you have a flagship with 12 gigabytes of RAM, not a huge deal, but a smaller phone, these things are great, okay? Now when we go back, this one, I don't have enough data to show you how this one actually works. I'm sure you can figure it out. Just install this, keep it on your phone for a little bit, and then you'll see a lot of activity here that's gonna give you insight as to what this does as well. And that's basically all there is to it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.